Welcome back to Chobe Plays. This little guy right here is the Fine Fine AM8 streaming and recording microphone. Let's talk about it. Before we get into it, in all transparency, Ted from Fine Fine actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review this microphone. So they sent me this microphone for free, I'm not getting paid for any of this. This is an honest review from me. They just provided the microphone to get their name out there. So if you're interested in this microphone, there will be links in the description. They go to Amazon. They will be affiliate links. So it does support the channel. So the Fine Fine AM8 is actually a pretty unique microphone. If you look on the back here, you notice there's a couple of connections. There's a USB connection and there's also an XLR connection. So you can plug this USB directly into your PC. No software required. It just works. <laughs> Uh, and then also the XLR connection, you could use something like a Go XLR like I use or the Wave XLR from Elgato or any other XLR recording interface. So you have a couple options there. Uh, do note that the RGB, this cute little RGB ring that is around the back of this microphone only works for USB. So if it's only XLR, you're not going to get that. Also, the volume knob only works with USB as well. It does not affect the output of the XLR. Before we talk any more about this, let's actually unbox this thing and show you what all comes in the box. So let's open this up and see what you actually get in the box. In the top of the box, you'll notice the desktop stand base is there. This is a very well weighted uh, stand, heavy enough so it doesn't slide around. And on the bottom, it does have a little bit of rubber grip so it doesn't slide around on your desk while you're trying to use it. Also, of course, there is a user's manual. I recommend you read that if you're trying to set this up on your own. And then they also include a very nice six and a half foot USB-A to USB-C cable so you can plug this in and get started immediately. And last but not least is the microphone itself. Uh, you'll notice the arms are pre-attached to it. Uh, the bottom of that is what has the different types of threads for a boom arm or this desktop stand. That's a great build quality. It is a plastic body, but it does have enough weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Uh, on the back there, you see the capacitive touch and you see the RGB. Also the volume for the microphone and the headphone is there on the top of the microphone. And then on the bottom of the microphone, of course, you will see the USB-C 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the XLR connection. Uh, it's insane that they included all of this in one microphone. Uh, this is really a steal. And there are the 3 8 and the 5 8 inch threads. Uh, you can see that inset there. So it'll work on any stand you throw at it. So a few specs on this microphone. It is a front facing dynamic microphone. So the capsule is up here on the front. So when you're using this, you do want to talk into the front of the microphone. Uh, it is a cardioid pattern, which means it's picking up things around the front. It does have side and rear rejection, which we'll get to in a minute. Now uh, you do notice I have this on the Elgato low profile mic arm. Uh, it does come with a stand, uh, this nice little stand right here. Uh, the bottom just screws into this. The threads on this are the common 3.8 and 5.8 uh, threads. So you do not need an adapter to put this on anything. Uh, the threads are built into the bottom of the stand, which is pretty nice. Uh, you notice on the front here, there is a volume knob. This is the mic gain volume knob. So I can turn this down. We'll go down. And the second knob is actually the headphone output. Also on the back of this is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and that is live monitoring of your microphone going into the USB mic. So you notice most USB microphones have a little bit of latency whenever you're monitoring them from your PC. So if you have your headphones plugged directly into this, you will hear no, no latency, no lag, direct monitoring, live monitoring uh, from the microphone. There's also a button here to change the RGB. So you can go through a cycle of colors. There is an, a rainbow effect for a breathing uh, RGB uh, such as that. Uh, it's pretty nice, adds a little bit of flavor to the microphone. Also on the back of this microphone is a capacitive touch to mute. Uh, it is green whenever it is unmuted and red when it is muted. So all you have to do is touch and that mutes the microphone. In my preference, it isn't a little weird spot because if you're grabbing the microphone like this to move it, uh, your thumb can hit that button and mute. So you just have to be wary of that. 
As far as the XLR connection, it is a dynamic microphone, which means no phantom power is required, no extra 48 volts. So if you do have a phantom power button on your XLR interface, make sure that's turned off. And also the XLR cable is not included. They do give you the USB cable that we showed in the unboxing, but there is no XLR cable. However, as a beginning streamer, this is a perfect microphone because I think it sounds fantastic. Uh, with a little bit of tweaking in OBS filters and the VST plugins, I think you can get this thing to sound fantastic. And if all you have is a computer, you have a USB connection that works right out of the box. In the future, if you do upgrade to an XLR interface and want to get a little bit more uh, fine tuning availability for that, then the XLR is provided. On a side note, a great thing that I did notice about this microphone is the USB and the microphone work simultaneously. So this actually solves a big problem for a lot of streamers. So for something like the Go XLR, if I want to use one microphone for my streaming microphone and the same microphone to go to my game chat in a game, uh, you have to do some fun cable routing and some table routing in the Go XLR interface to get all that to work. You have to have an extra cable to run to your line in and line out. So for this microphone, my XLR can go straight to my streaming PC. The USB can go to my gaming PC and work as my game chat simultaneously. So that relieves a huge headache and actually frees up a port on the back of the Go XLR for the line out. To do an honest review, I wanted to use this microphone for the entire video so the viewers can know exactly what this sounds like. Right now, this is USB straight to my PC into OBS. Uh, there are no filters in OBS. This is the raw USB output. Now, I did notice that with the uh, table stand that they provide, there is a little bit of table noise and some hand noise when you're handling the microphone or if you're putting your hands on your table. I put the AM8 back on the stand that comes in the box with it because uh, you may not have a boom arm and I wanted to talk about what this sounds like just on the table. Uh, again, I'm not eating this microphone. I'm a comfortable distance away from it. Uh, but there is, there is some body noise when you're handling this microphone. And there is some table noise uh, direct from this stand. But if I apply the filters that I had in OBS, then you can get the microphone to kind of reject some of that noise. Of course, if I'm talking, you're gonna hear the, the table noise. But if I'm not talking, All that noise does go away. So that's what it sounds like directly on the stand if you don't have a boom arm. Of course, a boom arm is always recommended for any microphone just to kind of elevate it off the desk so you're not getting that desk noise and that rummaging sound. So now that you know what the AM8 sounds like through USB, let's plug it up to XLR and compare and contrast with the SM7B, which I use on a daily basis. So what you're listening to now is the Fine Fine 8 running through XLR to my Go XLR and through all of the EQ and compression that's set up on that. I'm gonna compare this to the SM7B uh, in the same mode as well. So you can make your own opinions on how you think this sounds. So welcome to Chill Plays. This is the Fine Fine AM8 streaming and recording microphone. So for comparison, this is the SM7B, uh, of course, XLR through my Go XLR uh, with all the same compression, EQ, all those settings. I did not touch those for switching these microphones out in XLR mode. So this is the Shure SM7B compared to the Fine Fine AM8 streaming and recording microphone. As far as noise rejection goes, uh, I'm going to type a little bit on the keyboard. So you will hear a little bit of keyboard noise whenever I'm talking, but the noise suppression uh, on my VST plugin, whenever I'm not talking, should cancel that out. And as far as the side rejection, uh, like I said, this dynamic uh, front facing capsule is right here. So we're gonna go over to the side. We're gonna... Here. And we're gonna come back on this side. We're gonna talk about the next here. Now if I talk loud enough, I can get it to come in. Another great selling point to this microphone is the price. Currently on Amazon, it is only $54.99. So this is a fraction of the cost of what a lot of people are spending on microphones these days. Uh, as far as XLR microphones, you will need an XLR interface that raises the cost some more. 
But if you're just looking for something out of the box to use, this microphone, I believe, is perfect. I think it sounds great. And I don't have any issues with it other than the capacitive mute button being kind of a weird place if you grab it. So that is the Fine Fine AM8 Amplagame streaming and recording microphone. It's a mouthful, but I think this microphone for the price is actually completely worth it. I mean, a microphone that does all of this, dual outputs, live mic monitoring, RGB, all for under $60 is a complete game changer for beginning streamers or even veteran streamers who wanna have the ease of USB or the capability of XLR, or even both at the same time for a dual PC setup like mine, I think this is a fantastic microphone. So again, links are down in the description. There will be an Amazon affiliate link that helps my channel out. Big shout out to Ted and Fine Fine for allowing me the opportunity to uh, review this microphone. As always, love you all. Peace.